Hi everyone, what's up? It's me, Mr. Ahrens, back again for another week of your Distance Learning Academy. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know this quarantine is getting long, um, but I hope you're hanging in there. Reach out to me if you need anything. My contact information is right here, but we're gonna get started today. So let me give this presentation to ya. All right, so like I said, this is a brand new week of your Distance Learning Academy. Uh, this is actually session 17, isn't that crazy? Um, and it's a Monday, and so on the Mondays, I have been asking you guys to write a little bit longer about your independent reading books. And today is gonna be similar, um, but we're gonna be writing it in a different style today. So rather than using your annotations to write, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna write a diary entry from the perspective of a character in your independent reading book. And the purpose of that is so that you can share the character's thoughts and feelings about important events and relationships in the story. The lessons that I've been teaching you um, in previous weeks have been helping you to think more about your character and the relationships that they have with other characters and their influences in the book. Um, and so this is gonna be another way of doing that. So I wrote a model about a book that I just actually finished. And um, what I want you to do as I'm gonna read you the, the model. And what I want you to do as I'm reading it is um, ask yourself this question. What do you notice about my model that you think would be important to include in your own journal response? So as I'm reading it, kind of thinking about my writing as a writer, what would you include in your journal if you were writing about your book? So let me bring up my model here. Here we go. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Okay, um, so up here at the top, um, I have the book title. The book that I read is called They Both Die at the End. Kind of a crazy title. Um, and I actually just finished it on Friday of last week. So this book was uh, recommended to me by Ms. Fussner. I, I really enjoyed it. It was a pretty good story. Um, they, t they tell you the ending right here. They both die at the end. There's two characters and they both die. Um, so it, it kind of gives it away. Um, but I really liked one of the characters in the story. His name was Mateo. Um, and so I chose to write my diary entry from the perspective of Mateo. So here's what I wrote. And again, thinking about um, what did I include in my entry that you could include in yours. So here's what I wrote. Dear diary, wow. This day has been the most unexpected thrill of my entire life although I know what is going to happen at the end. I always thought that I would lead a long life and that I would have plenty of time to do all the things that make a life full. Things like travel, have a family, go to college, and most importantly, make friends that would teach me the meaning of everything. The sad part about today is that I know the long life part is no longer possible since I got the call from Deathcast early this morning. The good part about today is that I have packed in everything that makes a life full into my last hours on this earth. To start, Diary, I have to tell you about my new friend Rufus. He is incredible, and he really understands me. I have spent so much of my life alone in my room playing video games when there were people like Rufus out there. I feel like this is a great injustice. That I feel like it is a great injustice that I would find him on my last day. Also, today is his last day too. This world can be so cruel sometimes. However, we found each other, and honestly, there was no one else on this planet that I would have wanted to spend my last day with. What makes Rufus so great? Like I said, I feel like he truly understands me. He does not make fun of me uh, for not having a ton of friends, and he does not judge me for the weird things that I do. He just saw me, the tr he just saw the in me the true person that I am, and he decided that I was he was going to help me have the best last day ever. The coolest thing that Rufus did for me today was that he took me to see my dad in the hospital. Since my dad's accident that put him in the coma, I have had such a hard time seeing him. But with Rufus there to tell me that I was lucky to have a dad that cared for me and loved me the way that mine did, I knew that I could find the strength to say goodbye. 
I think that helping me say goodbye to my dad, in a way, helped Rufus say goodbye to his own parents. You see, he lost his whole family in a car accident many years ago, but he was still holding on to all of that regret and guilt about surviving. Now that he was able to help me, I think in his own mind, he was able to say goodbye too. Diary, this will be my last entry, but know that I had a great last day and a great life. Love, Mateo. So there it is, there's my journal. Um, what did you notice about my model that you think would be important to include in your own response? Here's some things that I think are important to include um, and that I'll be looking for in your writing. And so I recommend you have this screen open as you're writing it, maybe in another window, so you can kind of use it as a checklist. So names and descriptions of characters in the story, significant details about events in the text, written from the first person point of view. That means you're actually pretending to be one of the characters and you're writing it uh, as if you were them. Characters, uh, the character's feelings and emotions, inferences about the, how the character may feel about someone or something. And then finally, uh, complete and turn in on Google Classroom. So on your Google Classroom assignment, you each have a template that looks like this. So you'll tell me the title of your book. You'll tell me what page you're on if you haven't finished it. Um, and then you'll write your diary entry here the way that I did. On your screen, there's gonna be, of course, the turn in button up here. I want you to turn it in when you're finished and that just lets me know uh, that I should go and look at it. And so the last part of your assignment today is simply to read your independent reading book for 25 minutes. Um, notice and note any important parts of the story using those sticky notes, uh, making sure that you're recording your thinking. Apply the strategies that I've taught you um, about looking for character, about summarizing, uh, making sure you're practicing those strategies. And then finally, just complete that ticket to leave on Google Classroom. Um, that also just helps me keep up with your progress. So that's it from me today. Um, I'll be back on Tuesday with something else for you guys, but I hope that you enjoy the rest of your Monday. Um, reach out to me again if you have any questions, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye, readers. Have a great day.